Hi everyone and welcome to Lipstick on a Rig. Today we're going to be making a pretty large crochet candy cane and this candy cane only takes about 15 or 20 minutes so it works very quickly and this is part of my four skein Christmas challenge so if you're interested in my other Christmas videos please check the links in the description. And for this project, you're going to need two different strands of yarn, but they don't need to be the same size, weight, brand, or type. I'm working in my four skein challenge, so I'm working with the Big Twist Value brand, and my colors are Varsity Green and Cream. I'm also going to be working with a size K or 10.5 or 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. And if you don't have a crochet hook of this exact size, that's fine. Just get as close as you can. So go ahead and grab both strands of your yarn. And we're going to work these simultaneously like they are one strand for our entire project. So we're going to begin by attaching the yarn to our crochet hook using a slip knot, and then we're going to chain 54. And once you have your 54 chains in place, then we're going to skip four of our chains, and in the back loop only of our fifth chain, we're going to place a double crochet. And then working backwards in this last skipped stitch, so our fourth chain, we're going to place a bead stitch. So to do that, yarn over and insert your crochet hook in the back loop only, and then yarn over and pull up through. And you wanna really pull this up so that your crochet hook is sort of parallel with your chains. Then yarn over and reinsert your crochet hook in that back loop and yarn over and pull all the way up again. We're going to repeat that one more time, yarning over, inserting our crochet hook in the back loop, and then yarning over and pulling all the way up. Then we're going to yarn over and drop all the loops on our crochet hook. Then we're going to chain one to complete our bead stitch. So now we're going to place bead stitches going along our row. So to do that, you're going to skip two of your chain stitches and in the back loop only of your third chain, you're going to place a double crochet. Then in your first skipped chain right here, you're going to place your bead stitch. basically yarning over and pulling up three times. Then you're going to yarn over and drop all of your loops and then chain one to complete your bead. So we're going to repeat that going all the way down our row. And at the end of your row, you should have 17 bead stitches and a leftover chain. And so once you get to the end of your row, and you have your spare chain, all you're going to do is place a double crochet in it, and then we're going to chain two and turn our work. And so now we're going to place our bead stitches, and so basically we have three stitches for every bead. So we're going to place our double crochet stitch in the top of our bead, so this middle stitch of our bead stitch. And then working backwards, we're going to place our bead stitch in this stitch right here. So just the stitch behind it. Don't forget to chain one at the end of your bead stitch. So now we're just going to repeat this process in our next bead. So we're going to place our double crochet in that top stitch and then our bead stitch in the stitch behind it. Okay. 
So now for our next four beads, we're going to place two bead stitches in each of these beads. So we're going to do that by first placing our first bead stitch just like we've been doing. So now once you have your first bead stitch in place, we're going to work between our two beads. So right here in this large gap. And that's where we're going to place our double crochet. And then working backwards in this chain one right here. So the third stitch of our bead stitch, that's where we're going to place our bead stitch. So now you can see that we've placed two bead stitches where previously we only had one. So we're going to repeat that process in our next three beads. And when you get done, you should have a total of 10 bead stitches. So now we're just going to go back to placing one bead stitch in each of our beads. And we're just going to place one bead stitch in each of our beads going all the way down our row until we get to the end of the row. And when you get to the end of your row, you're just going to place a double crochet right here in this chain two, and we're going to work in the gap between our bead stitch and the chain two. Now we're going to cut and tie off our yarn. And you can either hide your tails along the ridge of your candy cane, or you can use them to attach this to a throw pillow or other project. And once you're done hiding your tails, your candy cane should look something like this. Please let me know in the comments below if you experienced any issues while you were making this, and I will do my best to help you out. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel, Lipstick on a Rig. Thank you so much for working with me and I hope you have a wonderful, awesome day.